that, my friends, is all the stuff that I'm going to bring on my trip to southern France. I'm going to Nice, leaving this evening, uh, and I've been preparing everything to show you guys. So, interestingly enough, all of that is my running gear. And then my normal gear is just, just this stuff. Not really that much. Um, but I want to show you guys uh, the stuff that I'm bringing, the running stuff, and go through each of the items. Let's do it. All right, guys, here we are uh, on the floor. And uh, yeah, uh, I used to be traveling light. <laughs> Those days are long gone. So now we're going to look through all the stuff that I'm bringing to my trip to France. You know, the weather there can be anything from like pretty cold 2 degrees Celsius winter type of weather up to like 18 degrees summer type of weather in the, in the next few uh, months that I'll be there. So I need to bring a lot of different types of clothing for different types of conditions. So let's do it. Compressed calf sleeves, uh, socks for different conditions, thin socks, long thick socks, thick socks for the gym, thick socks for running outdoors. Um, we'll get to the shoes up there. Uh, just emergency blanket if I'm heading out for a remote run or something like that. Um, I don't know what that's called, a ruler? Yeah, a ruler. Just to measure my... Um, Ankle mobility because I'm working on that. So I want to see my, my progression pullover pants gloves Gloves always good to have uh, running underwear Two hats just actually I just need one hat But I, I had this other one that I just wanted to try out and I haven't tried it yet. So brought it with me uh, This is a buff t-shirts uh, Just a thin t-shirt white very thin if it's warm thicker t-shirt if it's a little cooler and that's a medium t-shirt just in between those two i guess in terms of thickness and if it's really warm i'll go for my singlet one of my singlets and i'll probably be using this for running and this for like uh if i'm in at the gym which i'll also be of course regularly so i'll be using that at the gym just a cap and my my running jacket uh, i might not need that it depends on the weather, but if it's if it's harsh and I'm heading out in the mountains or something, then yeah, then that would be a good idea to have. Running shorts, you know, that's like one of the most important pieces of gear here. Another pair of shorts that I'll be using at the gym. That's my running tights, if it's a little cooler. Two uh, long-sleeved uh, sweaters, just uh, a thin one and a, and a thicker one, a tight one and a looser one. Uh, it depends on the conditions, what I'll use. Here's my running vest. If it's just windy but not that cold, I might opt for that instead of that. So that's good to have. Let's move up here. I'm thinking, you know, I might not need my uh, uh, trekking poles or my running poles. But then again, I, I do. I want to use them again. I want to try them again. It's been a year since the last time I tried them. Uh, so I might head up in the, you know, hills and, and do some of that. My Garmin, of course, my Garmin heart rate monitor, of course. That's actually just a, a padlock uh, that I'm bringing with me uh, for the gym. Just a gym bag. Belt, just to have stuff in while I'm running. Maybe my phone, uh, some nutrition, uh, toilet paper, whatever, uh, that sort of thing. Moving up here, we have our sunglasses um, because it's gonna be sunny. Nail clipper, my uh, Salomon soft flask, 150 milliliters, just for a sugar solution, and we'll get to that up there. Just uh, I just put maltodextrin and fructose, which I have up there, maltodextrin, fructose. I'll just mix that together in a special ratio with some salt, and that, that's my gel, homemade style. Uh, here's my uh, hydration belt, just, yeah, pretty basic. Moving up here, we have our running backpack that I'll use for long runs up in the mountains. And when I'm using that, I'll probably use it with the the water, the Osprey bladder here, the water reservoir. That's pretty practical. In terms of shoes, bringing the Vibram Five Fingers for using in the gym when I'm doing weightlifting and stuff like that. Here's my Ultra Timp shoes that are good for the trails and for the road I'll be using these two these are the ultra the one 2.5 very pretty lightweight shoe pretty uh, you know 
it's nice for faster running I made a review of them you can check it out up there uh, and here's my um, Bondi 6 uh, Hoka shoes that's good for like long runs on the road there'll be a lot of road running in this because it's well there's a lot of road there uh, up here we have uh, some more hydration stuff just handheld Osprey bottles another handheld that's the reservoir just a bunch of books. I'm gonna start building my business as a personal trainer for runners, so I wanna have a little bit of um, books to draw upon when I'm building training plans and stuff. Um, that's my bag, or I don't know, it's just called a bag, suitcase maybe. Foam roller, and just a tennis ball to roll under the foot. And as I showed you guys, here's my maltodextrin and fructose, just straight up sugar basically, but uh, good to use uh, to make, make your own gel and then here I have some uh, pea protein isolate protein powder two and a half kilo just to bring with me as well and uh, that is it actually uh, yeah a lot of cool stuff there um, I'm really excited to go I'm looking forward to heading south getting some sun again uh, getting my health back I feel like I've lost it a little bit over the last few um, months here in Norway and uh, yeah that's all, all the stuff I'm bringing please leave a comment tell me what you think about all the stuff and if you want to see uh, the video where I show the other stuff that I'm bringing you should check that out uh, I'll put a link to it there it's over on the sweet natural living channel so anyway thanks for watching hope your running is going well please subscribe see you around